Hi everyone, welcome to day four of our 30 day April art challenge. I hope you've been having fun doing some of the days with me. Uh, yesterday was waffle and I saw some really yummy looking um, photos posted in Google Classroom, so keep it up. And today's prompt is ocean. I love going to the ocean. I did a few projects because I love the beach. I love everything about the ocean. And the first one I want to show you is a little watercolor painting and give you some options if you want to try your hand at painting as well. So this one is um, just a half sheet of paper and um, it's a little thicker than um, copy paper. It's not the watercolor paper that we use in school, but just try to find something um, thicker, like if you have drawing paper or a sketchbook, you can do that. If not, try it on paper anyway and see how it, um, see how it goes. So I just did um, ocean, the water down here and the sky. And remember what this line is called? What's that line called? It's a horizontal line. Yes, horizon line, where the sky in, meets, in this case, the ocean. So make sure you put your horizon line. And um, I added, I don't know if you can tell, oh, yeah, you see how it's raised and it has like a little texture. That's glue with some salt sprinkled on top. Yeah, to make it look like um, the waves, the little white caps of the waves coming in. So that's my little painting. Um, if you don't want to do glue and salt, you could also use, after you let your painting dry, you can use white paint, you can use oil pastel, you can use chalk, um, whatever you have, yarn. Um, so be creative, use your imagination and figure out what you can do to get the idea of ocean. Now, if you don't want to do a painting and you want to do, um, 3d work, cause I know a lot of, there are a lot of 3d artists at school, um, using a cereal box, you can make a little ocean in a box. I'm not finished with this one cause I don't like all the writing. I think it takes away from um, my fish inside the ocean scene. So um, I might paint this or cover it with paper or something um, because it's very, very distracting. But all I did was um, I cut out the middle and ask a grown up if you need some help to cut um, out that cardboard part. And then that's just a piece of um, white paper. Actually, it's the thin um, copy paper I have. And I just drew it with markers and the water is chalk. So I just used um, a little tissue, just like we do in school when we use chalk pastel. Remember, it's a great material when you're covering something large. So that is my little ocean. You could also um, cut out fish and other sea creatures and um, have them hanging from the top of your cereal box with some yarn and some tape. And the last one I want to show you, some of you might know who this is. Oh! Oh, yep. Baby shark. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing the song because it'll be stuck in your head for the rest of the day. Uh, but this was uh, watercolor on a coffee filter. If you don't have watercolor paints um, and you have markers that are not permanent, like these, these are the Mr. Sketch ones, you can use um, marker on coffee filters and um, a little spray bottle of water or even a wet paintbrush and the colors will blend. And I drew Baby Shark and instead of putting them flat, I just gave them a little pop-up dimension and I just glued them like that. So I actually might hang them in the window. What do you think, Blasu? He's just really does not want me to sing that song. So anyway, there we go. Ocean day four. Um, I hope you post some up in Google Classroom or email them to me. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. See you tomorrow.